Hey, Steeler fans, welcome back to the Steeler Wade Show. My name is, I sound like I'm WWF. My name is Jake Wade. Thank you again for joining me. Today is going to be a little off ski, kadooski. You know, it is what it is. I just want to, uh, today is April something and it's Easter. So I hope that all of you have. Um, whether you celebrate Easter or however you look at things, um, hope you had a great day. Even if you don't celebrate it necessarily uh, in one way, maybe uh, you had an opportunity to get around family or friends. And, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I had a pretty interesting morning this morning. Uh, interesting as far as good goes. You know, I woke up and um, my bride went to... Uh, church um, this morning so I was like well I need to get some things going and things like that because she's gonna be gone a couple hours and stuff and the ham and stuff and so I woke up took the shower all that stuff I gave myself a haircut if y'all want to see where I missed you know but uh, shaved got all pretty for y'all out there in the world and uh uh, made a pretty nice little Easter dinner for everybody. I ended up, uh, we got a spiral ham, so it's like, I think I made it, cooked it for, it's already cooked. I warmed it up slow for like, uh, like an hour and 40 minutes, I think was what it, what it was. And, uh, I made a, uh, um, green bean casserole, one of the standards, you know. Uh, last night I made uh, cheeseburgers for the family and uh, something I do fairly well, I guess, uh, pan fry. And uh, I made them bacon burgers. So uh, Mindy bought a, uh, you know, the regular Oscar Mayer thing. Got a really good price on it at Mayer. Man, they can do some good prices on meat sometimes. Um, but, um, I use like 75% of it. What I do is I take the bacon and I'll just slice it in half. And when I'm doing bacon burgers, I'll just, you know, cook them up in half slices. So I ended up, uh, because there's only five of us here, um, I ended up keeping like three quarters. I mean, I kept, I used three quarters. Um, I ended up uh, saving like a quarter of it. So today I ended up throwing that shit in throwing the swine into the air fryer for a little bit. I don't know if you've had bacon in air fryer. It works pretty cool. Um, especially if you are someone that likes uh, your bacon less cooked. Um, if uh, old Stewie Kelly ever gets a chance to look at this, shout out to Stuart Kelly, a donkey fan. And uh, I'll never forgive the donkeys for the late 90s. But... That's when I knew him, loved him, and, uh, but, uh, wherever I was going with that, some are important, because I don't go to stupid places, but you're not there. So, I ended up making this, um, uh, green bean casserole, and, uh, all that turned out mm, pretty good. I ended up, uh, we did a spiral ham, and that turned out. Uh, pretty nice. Like I said, it was like an hour and 40 minutes. You cook it real low. And then, because uh, it's already cooked, so you're basically like a soft warming it up. With the <clears throat> You sprinkle the candy on top and stuff and do it some more. But I did a, a um, uh, sweet potatoes. You know, the sweet potato thing with the uh, marshmallows and stuff. Now, we didn't get, we didn't have the big marshmallows, but Here's a little hint. If you are uh, making uh, this next time, try putting a teaspoon or two. I use, when I, I don't know what a teaspoon is. I just know what a capful is. So I use two capfuls of um, vanilla. You know, miss me with that Hunt's ketchup imitation. Vanilla is just as good shit. Just spend the 750 get a little bottle of vanilla it's gonna last you eight years if you're you know burn it up faster you're living a good life you know what i'm talking about 
<clears throat> so I burnt up uh, two capfuls of vanilla and I put that in there and that really turned it on. So that's my little hint. That's one thing I've learned uh, this time. So I ended up uh, making up all the, uh, while she was at church, I made the ham and I made the green bean casserole and I made the uh, sweet potatoes. There was something else. Oh, you know what else I did is I put in uh, like two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk in it. Um, now I might burn, I might cut that back to one light because <clears throat> once I put on the, the, she bought the, the little mushrooms. So I don't want to get all into my food techniques because you're going to start expecting me to cuss like on Hell's Kitchen and it's Easter and why the fuck would I cuss on Easter, you know? So, um. But that turned out really good. So I used just a hair of condensed milk. I used some uh, vanilla on top of that. The brown sugar and, and things like that. So it really turned out good. So you're thinking to yourself like, Whoa, what a guy! What a guy. I know. Where's his cape? I know. Where's, where, no really, where's his cape? I know. I know I get that all the time. I look, I just, I keep the cape to myself. Um... Uh, since I, I only have like two or three listeners out there that, um, I'm going to go and tell you that those are seances. I use my cape, my hero cape for seances to, um, induce wins for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, I don't want to say that I'm single-handedly responsible for having the winning season last year, but there may have been a cape involved. I hope you had a great time this uh, Easter. So, um, you know, my my wife, I, I she gets so upset with me, as wives do. Um, when I try to explain something to her, like I don't know why, but I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know why it's uh, uh, looked at prejudicially to the fact that when I want to tell you about something that happened, I have to preface this, it was something, a story, a thing. Uh, I just like the word preface. And... Um, Oh, she got so just, I mean, she don't get mad at me because, I mean, how, you know, she don't get mad at me because I'm, I'm so dang good looking, but, um, I know it, it's not one of her favorite, uh, one of her favorite, uh, activities is listening, uh, to the buildup and the explanation of the thing that she probably doesn't really want to hear about anyway, but she's doing that to support me as a husband. Basically, she hates how I linger around, such as I'm doing now. And, uh, I ended up, uh, this morning I woke up and did all my bullshit and, um, I don't know if he put it out a couple... I, I usually get them the day they come out. I Lately, I've been sat down. I'm a commercial carpenter. And uh, uh, I've been sat down here for almost... Uh, well, I have been sat down for two weeks out of my company. You know, and uh, which is piss. And uh, so I've been... Like, like sometimes I'll just stay up real late. You know what I mean? And uh, wherever I was talking about that for, I don't know. Oh, you've been drinking again. I just want to say that um, I talk too much. Like my first wife, uh, 
And when I say first wife, um, I have a few of them. I've had a few. Um, and, uh, but she was a big fan of, I don't know if any of y'all my age, uh, that were uh, teenagers in the 80s, late 80s. Uh, but there was this movie, I don't, and I don't really know if it was Anna Green Gables. I mean, mucka, mucka, mucka. I don't know if it was Walt Disney, but there was this movie, Anna Green Gables. Um, and uh, the main character is Anne Shirley. And her aunt, you know, what, you know, adopted. Uh, uh, they would say things like, uh, well, you could talk the hind legs off of a mule. And surely your jaw is hinged in the middle. And sometimes, you know, I always think of myself as a quiet person, but it does take uh, some time for me to get around to the point, uh, probably. <clears throat> and the uh, universe parallels the one that you're living in right now. Um, and I was listening to a, a podcast from DK Sports. And one of my favorite, I mean, I'll just tell you straight up, he's my second favorite, is Matt Williamson. Um, I believe that he used to be a scout at one point. And I know that um, he has some type of an affiliation with the Browns in his past. And I don't hold it against him. And I don't talk about it. But Matt Williamson has a really neat, calm uh, way of explaining things that I just love. Uh, DK is awesome. He's my favorite. But Matt Williamson, please check him out. He's really, um, I don't know, he just makes me think. And that's why I appreciate this. You know, right now, right now, this is going to make you think, probably kind of a, a podcast. You know, I hope what I want to do in other ones, even if it's all bullshit, I want to make, uh, you know, something that can open your mind or just to think about what you're wishing for. It doesn't matter if they all come true. It's just, you know, maybe... I just appreciate when uh, there's people out there that open my mind, you know. And Matt Williamson, uh, with his, um, at first it was just his podcast, but then I became uh, so interested in what he did is that I started becoming a fan of his articles. And I think that's kind of backwards, you know, about how it should be. And stuff, but um, that's the way it happened for me. And uh, like, I'll listen to his podcast, go back to the article, and like get a another sense of what I was. You know, I it's like I need a uh, I need to try it again to remember what my first opinion was. That's some dumbass shit. That's how I used to uh, when I was getting high. I'd be like, here, give me some more of that because I. Well, let me have a little bit more because I want to remember uh, my first impression, you know, thinking I was funny just to get that other whatever. But um, he was talking about um, okay, like what the different signings that have happened. In this off season, especially with the interior line position, and when I'm saying in especially, basically it's two signings. Okay, you have Isaac and you have Nate. Okay, and they've been signed. And so it uh, first set off a lot of Steeler fans is like, like when Nate was signed on, we're all cool, right? Okay, good. We have somebody that's going to back up minimally, um, Dotson. And those that hold a grudge, are, oh no, not even those that hold a grudge. Those that are just even based are going to say, oh, this gives competition in camp, better man wins. Those that hold a grudge against Dodson for Peckett's uh, concussions and stuff like that are going to be like, oh, Dodson's gone, you know. 
Now we have death. And we were a little bit happy about that. I think I think we we're very happy. I think we we're, uh, uh, I think, uh, from what I remember, uh, Steeler fans are pretty happy. And then like a couple days later, we made uh, one of the, I'm wanting it to be one of the best uh, moves the Steelers have ever made in free agency. I'm, I'm wishing for this. I'm wishing, I'm wishing for the signing of Isaac to be the uh, one of the things they talk about in NFL history. Is that asking a lot? You know. So we have this situation out there where now, um, with these two signings. From having like what we consider zero death, you know, like uh, the line played every game, you know, and besides uh, at the tackle, what was it? I can't even remember the fucking tackle's name. Um, oh, you want to see my Easter shit? Do you notice I'm not wearing a jersey today today is my first day not wearing a jersey i'm wearing my favorite t-shirt because it's a holiday a little death before pop country don't you be listening to no bullshit fucking radio country shit come at me with that i got my fancy shoes on hi -ya! that's all you get or i'll pull a muscle it's easter bro so uh and bro at I don't even know where I was at. All this blood pumping to my crotch. I'll come in the club. I'll grab it. I'm a duck. Uh, a little SPM. Uh, I don't even know where the fuck I was. I better get to my notes. Wow. That's terrible. It was a lot of blood. I know. I was, oh, I know. Okay, so uh, you have this uh, now uh, from, like, I don't even remember who, I remember whoever our backup, uh, uh, there was a backup tackle, and then we had uh, House, Hassan, Hassan something, JC, you know, but he's like, I don't know, Hassan something. He's cool, but I mean, he always kind of came across as more like a professional backup uh, quarterback, like Mason, you know? And, uh, I don't know. I mean, JC and JC Hassan are show her. <laughs> it sounds like Steve Martin, uh, but on early times. Um, Now we have all this depth, right? Okay. So, on top of all this curiosity that's probably built up with fans or, I don't know if it's with the fans or if it's made with the media pushing shit onto us and then we react and they react to us reacting so that they can sell us something. Um, now we have... Um, star players coming into Pittsburgh uh, for personal interviews. Uh, and right now now is a time where a lot of interior offensive linemen are coming or as of coming you know with my proper English Steve Avila Schmitz from Minnesota. Torrance. I've mentioned him before as the number one prospect. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, it, it gives uh, Steeler fans some banter. I like that word banter. Uh, to talk about, you know, why, uh, why are you bringing these guys in here for? And 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 Matt Williamson, 
Uh, I'm gonna, I might not put be able to put it in the links immediately because I'll probably be excited and wanting to do it before I pass out or something. Um, I want to get it out there on the th whatever the show is out there because I'm gonna have to go with this at this point. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to put a link to this uh, podcast from DK Sports that Matt did uh, because I can't go over. I'm not gonna go over the different points that he made um, as far as uh, this confusion that's natural to feel with why are these players coming in here for personal interviews, you know? Um, the one thing I will touch on is that he said about, uh, you know, like, hey, straight up, you know, we ain't gonna get you, you know? We ain't got to. That's some cool English. Um, but it it establishes something. Like these guys are stars. These are guys that are going to probably be picked, uh, you know, within the first 40 or 45 picks, you know, uh, well before. Um, what the Steelers are going to end up finding valuable their position, right? And uh, that's the part that I do agree with Matt on is that he said, you know, if anything, this is an opportunity for the Steelers, for Mike Tomlin, for Whiteout, for the management, for the the suits, for whoever, you know, whoever wants to, I mean, if I was a, I can imagine, can you imagine, dude, can you imagine being like just some cat that works in the office for the Steelers? Can you imagine just being a dog? And like tor like Cat Torrance from Florida is coming out, you know, and just having a chance to walk by him and just maybe he signs something for him or gives you, I mean, just, okay, it doesn't matter. But it gives, um, I, the thing about what, what, one of the things that Matt said in his uh, podcast or an article is um, this just establishes a hello, you know. Because you never know, no one knows uh, the future. And, and, and definitely uh, more precise than that, nobody knows how um, people, organizations, lives, paths will cross. Um, I'm not a big believer in coincidences. Um, I can imagine, you know, uh, planned things. I don't know what that means. I'm talking out of my butt talks. But on the side note of what Mr. Williamson had said in his podcast, and I don't want to add too much to his because what he said is going to be better than what I can say that he's a professional and I am not. I kind of believe that like uh, the Steelers have their board is far past three quarters built by the time these interviews are being done. Okay. I mean, Steelers are in it deep. They are in it deep. Even though they have almost like this feeling like they don't push it, but the media wants to buy up just because they lack of things to come up with creatively. 
They want to come up with bullshit things to talk about, like the lack of size with the Steelers uh, coaching organization. These guys don't know anything. I'm not telling you something opposite. I'm just saying that all this media shit, they're just trying to find something to get you to click, to get something exciting, okay? And I don't blame them, but I think the Steelers have fingers out there, as with all teams. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that my team is much more special than yours, but it is more special. But I'm not going to say that we're on a class all by itself, out on an island. But I mean, we are in a class all by ourself, out on an island, as far as uh, being the best. But I think that our boards. All right, our boards could be just as well built, 75%. Um, uh, after the Senior Bowl, you, those teams already have, they have it narrowed down to six guys of who their number one's going to be, I would imagine. Right? Six? I mean... I don't know. I mean, if I get wider than that, like, I don't even know what the six would be, you know, as far as available. Take away all the shit, you know, like the uh, Jones and, and stuff like that. But I mean, JPJ, Branch, uh, Van Ness, Breeze, Four. I mean, what receiver are you going to talk about? You're going to be Addison. I personally believe that... I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, don't miss me with that Addison shit. I don't even watch his shit because I don't care. I mean, I just don't care. I just don't care. He sounds like somebody that can only play in the slot in the NFL, so I don't care. I, I, I've already been prejudiced against it. Um, So there's four. I, I mean, I, I'm trying to think... You know, I love Smith and Jigma. You know, that'd be awesome. But I mean... You're you're talking about um, there. I don't know. It's not that many of them. Six. You know, uh, they haven't narrowed it down to our possibilities. They have these wonderful things that could possibly be maybe that they'll need to factor in, but they can narrow it down to six cats. And, you know, and so after Senior Bowl, you know, I think that um, as far as like, I'll take, for example, the Steelers picks this year. As far as up to 120, you know, uh, they probably have three quarters of their board established. Okay? So, yeah, you know, things are going to change with pro dates and the combine. Okay? And... When I say Senior Bowl, Senior Bowl doesn't necessarily apply to the first round, obviously. Senior Bowl applies to your second round picks, third round picks. And what I'm talking about, if you go outside to the 120, your fourth round picks. Uh, because, you know, obviously fifth round picks and past that are important, but... I mean, I don't have time to... to. Now, uh, did you know that 70.47% of statistics are made up on spot? It's crazy. I'm not going to go into those percentages. Um, but I believe that they, they, uh, they've got a decent handle on it you know what I mean like they've got a uh, they've got their ballpark-ish type shit 
you know, that's 75%. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? And, uh, and things are fine tuned with more time, obviously, to process things. Uh, the combine, you know, because, uh, I'm not saying I have one of the most dumbass neighbors. Like we call him Evil Knievel. Like I think there's something mentally wrong with him. And he drives around with this 250 cruiser with like no muffler and he goes blah, 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 blah. I can't stand that guy. Uh Whatever, dude. But what I want to do, what I wanted to do, to go back to what we were talking about, me and you talking, you, you know, not talking and me talking. I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, the, the, the like, Some fans, like, some fans are, like, like, it's almost like their pussy's swollen or something. They just want to moan, dude. Like, some of the Steeler fans are just the worst. Like, like, I remember there was times in the late 90s when I would go into a tavern and, like, like, be all about it. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be blasting, you know, my colors and shit like that. And I'd see somebody else and I'd want to come up next to them. And all it was was just some dude that was just a girl, dude. And I mean, when I'm not talking about no disrespect to women, I'm just talking about just some moaner, dude. And if you're a Righteous Steeler fan, y'all know what I'm talking about when you've met these people or you've seen them in comments and the internet, blah, 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 blah. But 